On this explosive episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be putting the mag of holding on the already powerful RGL grenade launcher and seeing what happens when we use it on the Joker. Let's go test them out. For our RGL here, I haven't really used this since pre-season one, I think, but when I did, this weapon was insane. It comes with 12 grenades to start with before Pack-A-Punch, and it already just one hit kills any zombie, even if they're in a group. So I'm not too worried about this being bad, but with the Joker, I'm a little bit scared because just in case you're not familiar with the Joker, you have to pick a spot and lock onto it prior to shooting and it takes that long to shoot each rocket. So actually killing things with it's going to be a little difficult. But the nice thing about the Joker is after you pack a punch it, you can shoot three rockets before having to reload. And then when we use our mag of holding, you don't have to reload at all. So all I really got to do is lock on here. Keep holding on and I can just shoot as many rockets as I have loaded in. So I'm thinking that this might be a great weapon to take out bosses with. And MAGA holding could make it nasty. So let's go ahead and upgrade both of our weapons. Get them Pack-A-Punch, get them Legendary. And I'm really going to need to use this PhD here just so I don't end up taking myself out. And without further ado, let's use our mag of holding. We have 66 grenades that we can just use at our leisure. No need to reload. No zombie is safe. And I'm a little scared to look at the Joker. Oh, we get 12 straight shots? Okay. I need to test this out on a boss. This is such a silly combination of weapons. But actually, you know what? Let me test my theory real quick. Can I just shoot all 12 rockets in the same spot? One. Two. It just keeps relocking. Three. Does Mago Holding actually make this worse? It might. Maybe I'm just in a bad spot. Hold on. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to shoot at the corner of this building. Okay, no. It was just a spot. We can just non-stop shoot rockets. Look at this. You have a personal cluster strike wherever you want, whenever you want. Well, it, it, ammo not included. So let's refill our ammo and go see if we can find a mega abomination. And shout out to those of you that suggested that we use these weapons. It's been a lot of fun going through and trying out the weapons that you guys have left in the comments. If I was a mega abomination, where would I be? So I need to be able to fight this thing from a distance. I need to be able to get a few shots on it before it realizes that I'm here. Doesn't look like one spawned there. Under the bridge, do we got one? No. What about over here in the plaza? Come on, don't be shy now. I just want to talk. I want to have a little chit chat. All right, well, if they're not going to spawn me in an abomination, I'll spawn one in myself. What do we got? Oh, perfect. Oh, there's our guy. We got to throw a decoy. Get the hell away from me, hellhounds. Oh, I can't see him anymore. There he is. Let's focus fire. Let him loose. Let's see if those get him. We're doing damage. I see hit markers. How much damage did we do? Oh, none. And I don't have another self revive, so hold on. Oh, great. Now we got two of them. Can't find any, and then all of a sudden we get two. That's just how it goes. Give me a self revive now. I can't buy it. I'm broke. Okay, we're in a bit of a pickle. Um, sentry gun. Go. Okay, now I'm I'm way up in the air. I don't know what happened. What? New glitch? I'm tall? Yao main glitch? Shack glitch? Who else is tall? I don't even have my gun anymore. Oh, there it is. Just had to switch weapons. All right, cool. Well, for all of you 5'11 and below, that's what it's like to be six feet. This is chaos. I just need to spam these here. See if we can take it out. Wait, why is there two? There's, there's two red mega bombs here and one normal. That don't seem fair. Oh, wait, I think the normal one left. Okay, this is not working. Thank you, Abomination, for taking that Mimic out. You're actually going to buy me a little bit of time here. Let's shoot our rockets. Let's not go down. Hit one of them, please. There we go. We did some damage. I think our Mega Abomination ran away. So that's cool. That's perfect. That's what we're looking for. This is a disaster. No way I'm getting double laser. They're DPing me or DLing me. I should not have rushed straight to tier three with this. But you know what? We ball. Spam those rockets. That's got to hit something. Nope. I'm just fucking up that one tree. The Lorax would not be happy with me. At least our RGL's kind of holding it down. Even when it's only pack two, I can still just spam this and kill zombies. All right, let's try this again. No running. Stay still. Yeah, perfect. You're doing great. I can't even see where I'm shooting this at, but I just know I'm shooting it. Just don't charge. No charging. Okay, we're, we've done... No damage to him. None. Basically zero. 
<laughs> this is stupid, dude. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to, we're gonna leave him alone for a bit, let him cool down. We're gonna cancel that contract and we have to reassess because this is not working. All right, so we took an L, whatever, it happens, but we're, we're just getting warmed up. Maybe we should start off with something a little smaller here with a tier two bounty. Oh, and it would be a mimic hiding in a house. We gotta lure it outside so we can just annihilate it with the Joker. Let's see if I can get it through this window. I think I see him walking around in there. There we go. Got a hit marker. There he is. All right. We got to try to predict where he's going to go. I'm going to stay right here. Spam those rockets. Oh, I should probably just run to that spot. PhD will save me. Okay. All right. Okay. Took him down to half health. You know what? That's the strat. That's the strat right there. Oh, let's not die though. Let's not die. I still don't have a self revive. Oh, wait. We just accidentally killed it with the RGL. You know what? I'll take it. Please have a self-revive in there for me. Thank you. Appreciate it. At least the RGL's getting stuff done. I need to get this to pack three. All right, what you got for me, bounty? Oh, a mangler. Now, this one actually doesn't see us. So, let's try to find a good spot right there. And spam our rockets. Why is it locking onto something different? Stop. I want this to be good, but it's trying to give me the worst experience possible. All right. Take two. Stay right there. Perfect. Beautiful. That should kill you, hopefully. Oh yeah, it did. That's not bad. You just gotta be a little accurate with it. And you know what? Since I'm right here, I think the RGL will be really good for clearing out one of these strongholds. You don't really have to aim at the spores. But death perception kind of just shows you where they're at. You can just spam in their direction. No zombie's gonna take us out. Hopefully no mimic takes us out. You just gotta walk around and click. That's it. Until I inevitably can't find the last spore. Is this it? Nope. It's right in here. Got it. Easy. Now, if we just get a little more money, we can try that on a tier three stronghold. All right, we got this pack three and we got a mega abomination waiting for us. What's going on, dude? Eat it. It's doing a bit more damage than I think the Joker would. Well, let's go ahead and grab some ammo, throw a decoy. We'll run over here. Hit our Aether Shroud and see if we can't take him out with this. Let's spam it. Stay in that spot. Don't you charge away. No! I didn't even think I killed a zombie with it. I shot all of it into the pond or the this little fountain. Well played. We're going to break that face of yours. Can we even break the face with explosives? Oh, we can. Cool. In tier three zombies, how you guys liking this? Oh, you guys love this. This is actually really good for getting our field upgrade back because we're already almost there and we just used it. There we go. Let's use our Aether Shroud so we can kind of climb up here while he's distracted. Give us some distance and let's close the distance with a few rockets. Oh, it doesn't even look like he knows where we're at. What's that doing for him? The Joker is actually so bad. Why does it do so little against the Mega Abomination? Does he just... Is he allergic or repellent just explosives don't do anything to him because it looks like the rgl does similar damage but we can just get more successive shots at him so maybe it's not made for abominations i do wish it shot just a little bit faster that would be nice but now he's dead so we don't gotta worry about that right about here there we go and let's see if we can take out this tier three stronghold looks like somebody already took out a few of the spores so this should be an easy cleanup there we go beautiful got some good loot for me so far, no. Oh, legendary Aether Tool. I spoke too soon. Let's go take out another. I will grab this cargo contract to complete after we finish our stronghold. And let's see what goodies we got in here. Zombies, if you'll excuse me. This is actually so nice for clearing these out. You don't even have to think, which is great for me because I don't do a whole lot of that anyways. A little Aether Shroud here and there, maybe some decoys, and we're good. Cleared it out. Easy peasy. I'm actually really liking the RGL. I need to be using this more. I feel like I'm going to have tinnitus though after using it. Come on, give me another legendary Aether tool. The standard has been set. I don't think it wants to. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Getting a lot of turret circuits though. But normally I like avoid buildings here in tier three because you make one wrong turn, you go into a room that doesn't have a window or a door. You're probably going down, but this kind of just makes looting here way easier. It's definitely giving me M79 vibes from Cold War. It's not as good, but it has like the same sort of style of play. Just shoots a little bit slower than it. All right, please give me an Aether Rift. Thank you. Wow, it's listening today. And how rude of me. Where are my manners? I almost completely forgot about our Stormcaller buddy. Let's uh, go ahead and use the Joker on him. Just stay right there. Don't move and eat all these rockets. Ooh, 
Did that take him out? No, he's still standing in there. I want to see if I did any damage to him. Because they didn't do really do anything against the Mega Abominations, but maybe the Stormcaller is different. Because the zombies are certainly stronger in here. What's your health at? Oh, that, that didn't do a whole lot. Maybe because his mask wasn't broken yet. Can we stop him from healing with this? I don't think so. Oh, wait. No, we got him. Just took like 18 of them. Let's try to get some ammo back. Oh, wait. Insta-kill. Give me that. I'm going to dip out of here. Try to hit him with our Joker. Because now is the time if we want to do some damage to him with this. I'm launching everything that I got. And he moved. All right. That's a huge problem with this weapon. We only got two minutes left until the storm actually starts moving and this guy despawns. So... Might as well make the most of it and see if we can take him out. Oh, wait. He's glitched out in a spot? This is perfect. Stay right there. That should be at least a few shots on him. Okay, we're hitting him. We're doing something. We got him to half health. Oh, this is such a backwards way of trying to kill him. We got 30 seconds to do it, though. Zombies, run me my ammo. Okay, we got a little bit. Four rockets. That's, that's going to have to be good enough for right now. Oh, now the storm's moving. He's only going to be here for a few more seconds. Come on. Now's our time. I don't think that's going to be enough. No, it's not. It's close, though. Oh, our gas mask just... Oh, wait. No, it didn't break. I put it down with 0% left. Perfect. This is so dumb. We had him glitch out in one spot, and it's still not enough. He's so low. Just let me kill him, please. If that's not enough, I, I got to leave. We can't survive here. It's not sustainable. No way all those missed. Oh, I can barely even see color anymore. I'm so close to death. There we go. We got him. It took forever, but we did it. I'm going to have to leave a skull here. I don't got time. We need to go. Oh, no. I'm about to die. Fuck. Good thing I still got self-revives. That bought us some time. Dying is optimal. Oh, losing the car is not. No, get out of the menu. No. Oh, my gas mask broke. That's fine. That's all right. We'll be okay. We still got some time to try to make it to the Dark Aether. I'm struggling to get out of here. Go, car, before you break. How many self-revives do I have? None. We need to make a pit stop. We'll get our self-revives back, and then we'll let our RGL carry us through the Dark Aether, because I think it might actually be good for the escort mission there. Is the Aether portal here still invisible? Looks like it. We gotta find the sweet spot. If I was a sigil spot, where would I be? So here's the Elder. If we go this way diagonal eventually there it is found it all right we're coming dark aether through your broken ass portal all right we didn't have the craziest time in urzik stand but the dark aether we can turn our luck around maybe we can actually get out of here with some good items come here bunny this first one i actually kind of have an idea where how we can implement the joker into this so here's the plan i'm gonna throw a decoy over by our rocket keep the zombies away from me for a second we're gonna shoot our rockets at the rocket, rocketception. And the rocket's gonna start to land right about now. And that should protect me while I'm doing this. Maybe next time I should shoot a few more rockets, but it worked, partially. Had to waste an Aether Shroud there, but it's fine. We're ironing it out and we'll get it back lickety split. This one, I don't think there's enough room here to do it. So I'm just gonna stick it clean. Now this one, we get a bit of an advantage from up here. I'm spamming every rocket I got. And then we're jumping and going right for it. Beautiful. It's working perfectly. Okay. I, I really got to stop talking while I do this. We're going to just stick it again. No fear. No fear. No surrender. Power Rangers forever. Could be done better, but I think we, uh, we did pretty well. Now on to our main event. The make or break for this RGL. And I think it's going to do pretty well. Bars. Let's just start it up. No prep. No preparation H. We're getting right into it. Because on paper, we should get enough ammo dropping from these zombies for us not to need to run and go find any, hopefully. So we can always keep the zombies away from the vehicle. The only thing I'm kind of scared of is these elites because they don't go down nearly as easily. And it's going to take way more of these grenades. And right now, we're still chilling at a cool 89%. Just spamming this. I don't damage this, right? No, I don't think so. I think we're all right. So let me get this into position. Let me switch to a cashmere because we might need a little more time than a decoy can give us. Let's throw the cashmere and let's try to hit it with the joker. Let's see if this is actually usable. Nope, already in a bad spot. We'll throw another cashmere. It says everything's too close. That is not too close. Just shoot it. 
I don't care about my well-being. Launch these. Okay, we definitely let it take way too much damage right there, but... It's kind of working a little bit. I just really want to make this Joker work. But I don't think it will. Oh, no. Not an abomination. The one thing I actually cannot take down. We got an Aether Shroud here. Keep him away. Keep him at bay. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should keep him focused on me. Oh, no. We're only at 28%. This is not going well. I need a Monkey Bomb. Is there a Deadbolt turret? I don't think so. This is really bad. This is very, very bad. Especially since I'm out of ammo for this. This is insanely bad. I can't think of a more bad situation. You gotta save us, Joker. Your only hope. Oh, no. It's chalked. It's over. It's done. Throw the monkey bomb. Oh, shit. He's just going to town on our ACV. We need this to spawn me in ammo. Thank you. Aether Shroud. Oh, damn. Nuke came in too late. We made it to the last stop, but... Couldn't survive. The mega abomination on top of my shenanigans with the Joker did not help. All right, we got one last contract here. The Outlast is something I'm confident we can complete. It's something like this where the RGL thrives. Let's start it up and hopefully we can survive. So far, so good. Zombies aren't even really getting in here. Oh yeah, this is easy. This is piss easy. I get this done with my eyes closed. Actually, you know what? I will. Eyes are shut. I can't see anything. Okay, I peeked. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna shoot at the ground. Let's hope I don't run out of ammo. Am I doing it? I can't even hear anything in the game. But I know if I'm still shooting, I'm probably still alive. Oh, I completed it. I heard the noise. We're in the clear. And we got nothing for that. We get, we're getting out here with no good loot. None. We got like one dog bone that I already used and the dog already died. Well, the only thing left to do is make like a tree and get out of here. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little disappointed in the Joker. I thought being able to shoot like all 15 or so rockets at the same time might just take out a mega abomination like it's nothing, but it literally did nothing to it. You could just see the little bits of damage it was doing. And this thing was pack three legendary tier. But the RGL, that might be one of my go-tos to bring into tier three if I'm trying to get loot real quick. Because I can just clear out any stronghold, any Aether nest, and I can just take out hordes of zombies without even thinking about it. Outlast, it's going to be great for. x is going to be great for if you're trying to farm XP. But it does struggle a bit against bosses. Overall, they're pretty fun to use, pretty goofy. Maybe somebody can find a better use for the Joker than I tried to do today. But I'm glad we we went and tested it out. I was really curious to see what the Joker could do with the mag of holding. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.